I got something in the mail today. Got some from Amazon, and uh, of course we had to take the freaking uh, address off because we got stalkers. We don't want process servers coming to deliver stuff because psychos got issues. But I got something in the mail today. Let's make sure it's not any process server stuff. So I'm gonna take out the good old brand new unboxing knife. Uh, I had to get rid of the other one because it was getting a little dull. I cut myself with this one, so you know, don't laugh. Almost cut my finger off, but it's all good. It's not the trigger finger. Ah, bang, bang. So let's go ahead and cut this thing open and see exactly what it is. Let's do this without cutting the whole damn thing up. I gotta make this a real short video. Um, dang, I'm messing up. Hitting the camera and shit. Let's go ahead and get this thing out of here. All right. So what we have in the mail today is called the Retro Flag. Um, it's a controller for the Nintendo Switch. So as you know, put that to the side. The Switch here. Um, this one and also the uh, OLED one. They have very small Joy-Cons. Like the controls, I have really big hands. So when I use the Joy-Cons, my hands start to cram up because I'm an old man. And they start to uh, hurt a little bit. So I went ahead and I went ahead and got a uh, a controller that I can slide the body of the switch into and play games with. So we're gonna go ahead and open that up. Get my uh, knife again without cutting myself. And uh, cut this out of here. Now I ordered one that looked like a uh, Nintendo GameCube controller. So we're gonna open this up together and see what it looks like. All right. So far we have a little bit of. Uh, little manual stuff we don't need that and this is wrapped in a little uh, cellophane stuff or whatever you want to call it foam and let's take it out now it's supposed to be purple I got it because it looks it looks blue on camera but um, as you can see it is kind of um, you can see through it like translucent you can see the uh, little vibration or the rumble packs down there at the bottom on the back here it has like a felt type of soft touch felt um, on the inside, I guess that's for the body of the switch so you don't scratch things up. And I want to see, let's see, they don't have it on the side here, on the inside portion. And from what I can tell, they don't have it on the inside, they don't have it on the inside section as well. So I hope that there's like a little travel or I guess like a little space there so it's not too crazy and it's not sliding up against the body so it's not scratching. But so far, it feels really good. Now, I'm not sure how responsive it's gonna be, but we're gonna turn the switches on once we get a chance. This supposedly can uh, fit both types, the regular switch and also the OLED version. So we're gonna see that and test that out. See in the background, I got Steam Deck. So we're gonna do a size comparison to see how this is, uh, if it's any bigger, if it's about the same size or whatever. But I love the way that the Steam Deck feels in your hand. The ergonomics are perfect in my opinion. I do like both of the joysticks on top with the uh, control pad uh, on the side there and the, the buttons here on the side too. They're just perfect for my size hands. These also feel really good too. Now we have our Xbox controller here. And so that's how the layout is. Got your stick here, an offset stick right there, and then you have your directional pad here, and then your bigger buttons, because these are much larger than your regular Xbox controller buttons. Okay, so that's that. Put that to the side. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get the switch here out. Now this is my modded switch. I was hoping that the purple would kind of match, but it really doesn't. But then again, it doesn't matter because I'm gonna be putting the body in anyway, so it's not gonna matter. And then the back part of the switch is gonna be on the back part of here. So let's go ahead and take these Joy-Cons. Well, no, first I gotta turn it on. So with the modded switch, you gotta have your little RCM loader. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there and it should go ahead and load up into my custom firmware. And let's see, let's go ahead and start that up. And thanks to Better Gaming for the uh, the awesome loader. This is a Hatake or Hecate um, front loader, I guess, into Atmosphere, the custom firmware. So I can go ahead and take this off now. And I have a uh, custom Legend of Zelda theme running. Nintendo, you missed the mark with the Nintendo Switch and not allowing us to have themes on the uh, console. So I don't know if you can see that, 
but I have uh, Legend of Zelda theme to match the uh, purple. Kind of off, looks a little pink, but it still works. But anyway, let's go ahead and, no, matter of fact, we have to go into our settings and we have to change the settings to allow me to use this controller. So let's see, let's go to uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. controls and sensors. And then we're gonna we're gonna enable it to be used as a uh, let's see pro controller wired communication, and we're gonna turn that on, and that should be it. Let's see. All right, so let's go ahead and take the Joy Cons off. I'm gonna stick these in the back area here, so they can keep charging while we uh, mess around here. All right. And then we should be able to just slide this right into place. It is a tight fit. I'll tell you, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that. It's a tight fit. There we go. Slides right in place. And just like that, it's working. Easy, easy, easy. Man, this feels good. It's hefty. I'll give you that. Um, so yeah, it does fit pretty tight. And it looks like that plastic is going to go against the switch body. Don't know how I feel about that because I hope that it doesn't scratch up the switch body. I would hate to scratch up my uh, my new little baby right here. So for the sake of the video and for the sake of the viewers, we're going to put that in there anyway. But it does feel really good. Yeah, it feels great. So let's see. Uh, let's see. What do we want to load up? Yeah, it's working very well. Okay. So let's go ahead and test out the uh, OLED switch. And I'm assuming it's probably gonna be a little tough at first, but man, it got some, it's not loose, I'll tell you that. I'm glad that it has that soft back to it. So let's drop the switch into its dock and let's, uh, let's, let's test this one out. So let's go ahead and turn this on and also enable the uh, USB plug-in for this, all right, look at that. Not bad, but I don't like that tight fit. I do not want to scratch this thing up. All right, let's go to our settings. And you can see the stock set, the stock theme is nothing to like. It's, it's nothing to be proud of. The one on the uh, modded switch is great. All right, let's see. Go down to our controllers, our controllers settings. Okay, and let's see. Pro controller, okay, pro controller, wired communication. So we're already set here. Let's go ahead and take the joy cons off. If I can take it off. And I can actually stick those back there. And uh, charge them with that as well. And a moment of truth. Let's go ahead and slide that down in there. Mm. All right, and it should work. Yep, it's paired. You see that little icon right there at the top left? It's paired just like that, and it works just like that. So let's let's load up some uh, Mario Kart. And let's see what the controls feel like, if they feel a lot better. While we're loading that up, let's check the Steam Deck out and see the size comparison. Slightly smaller. Feels... As far as the weight goes, it feels about the same, but yeah, ergonomics wise, I want to say that Steam Deck feels better, but this feels amazing as well. So let's go ahead and load up, turn it up a little bit, and let's do an easy one race. Oh wait, I don't want to do 50, I do not want to do 50. I do a hundred. We're gonna use my my me, and we're gonna do the Mega Man. The Mega Man. <laughs> I'm not sure how good I'm gonna be able to play while I'm behind the camera, but we're gonna try it out. And let's just do one race. But it feels good. It feels a lot better than the regular Joy Cons. I'll give you that not too heavy and also I forgot to say you can also charge your your uh, switch as well while you're playing the 
gonna stop the music here and let's uh, get it on. Yeah. See if we can get behind this person. Take him out. Let's do a little slide around here. Man, this feels so much better than the uh, regular Joy-Cons. So much better. Don't worry, Nintendo. I'm playing a legit version. Here, you don't have to <laughs> take my video down. <laughs> I'm messing up trying to crack jokes. And that ink is the worst shit ever. I got one banana peel left. It didn't, didn't protect me at all. So we're gonna throw that back here. Punk ass coins. See so if we can get some boost real quick. Bro, they love messing me up. Yeah, that's what you get. Look, who's that, Polly? And I got Wario in front of me? Nah, fam. But we're winning this race. Even though I can't see past the camera. I'm gonna throw that back there. I hit somebody. Come on, baby. All right, this should be coming up on the last lap here. Let's get our tire on the ground first. Power slide around the corner, get that boost. This should be the final lap. There they go, hit me again. Boy, they hate me. Let's see if we get something good we can slow them down with. Of course not. Coins. Kills everybody. Alright. Yeah, ergonomics feels good. I can't see my uh I can't see my hands. Yeah, they hit me twice. I can't see myself cramping up too bad with this, uh with my hands. So I, I would say that this is a go. This is a good purchase. And you can get it on Amazon for about forty-four dollars right now. I ordered it uh what's today Friday. Um I ordered it. I ordered it um Wednesday and it already came, so yeah. Alright, they can't stop me. Go ahead and coast on in there and get that win. Alright. So yeah. Not bad at all. This is by Retro Flag. It's uh $44 on Amazon for your Nintendo Switch and also your Nintendo Switch um, OLED that we're playing right here. Um, but yeah, I think that for the money, it's worth it. And then we have our size comparison again here. Okay. And it fits the uh, OLED regular Switch, $44. I will put a link in the description. And uh, yeah, that's that. Let's go ahead and get there. Oh, I didn't go over the features of the controller. So of course, you know, you got the bigger face buttons, you have the rumble, you have the bigger um, sticks, large size D-pad, then you have your plus and minus, and then you have a turbo function here. And then you also have your dedicated screenshot and also your turbo, um, I guess toggle, but that's it. Pretty simple. Let's go ahead and turn this thing around. Translucent, made by Retro Flag. Got your trigger buttons. Very nice, sturdy, tight fit. I can turn this thing upside down and shake it and it will not slide out. But yeah, so let's see how long it lasts. And if it messes up, I will make another video. But yeah, so far, very, very fun to use. Great control, and uh, that's that. So, make sure you like and subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section, and I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, I always try to make these unboxings pretty short, informative, for something that you could buy or something that you know most people could buy. Never gonna be anything you can't afford, um, and if you can't, I'll buy it for you. But anyway, uh, one per customer, okay? But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Darth Skater out, peace.